It's Saturday the 21st of October and we're, we've had days of really wet and dismal weather and a couple of days of high winds. And all of a sudden, mid-afternoon, the weather's broken and we've got lovely bright sunshine and hardly any wind at all. So the chickens are happy because they're quite happy now to come out the run. They were hiding away from the weather indoors. And I'm happy because I can get some things done in the garden without getting soaking. And one of the first things I'm going to do is dig up this dahlia. Before we had all the wind and rain, last weekend we had a couple of frosts overnight. And it basically put paid to my dahlias. So I'm going to have to dig them up now so that I don't do this year what I did last and left, leave them in and then they all rotted. I'm going to get these out, get them dried and store them until next year. Okay, that's Lady Kate dug up. I'll pop her, pop her, <laughs> pop the tubers somewhere to dry off, um, maybe in the shed actually, and pop this on some, some newspaper, let the, the soil dry and then brush as much soil off as I can do. And then I'll wrap up in newspaper and pop in a cardboard box and store until next year. But I've got some other dahlias I've got to dig up now. I'll go and do that. Okay, this is Dahlia Sarasota Joy. I'm now going to do the same with get this dug up and look after look after it over the winter and get them growing next year okay next we've got Delia Penhill Dark Monarch and who's the label and Delia Creme de Cognac I'm looking in my brassica cage after two days of storms and I can see that um, over at the back one of my purple sprouting bro broccolis has collapsed and this one at the front is in a state of collapse. <clears throat> so I'll need to prop those up but I also want to collect some of these Whoops, as I fall over because these uh, Brussels sprouts are Needing picked, I think. So I'll get those. Lovely. Just want to pick the ones that need picked before they blow. So the ones at the bottom. And these ones here, further up, I will keep a hold of for a while. There you go, a nice little batch of sprouts for later. And we've had some, uh, actually a couple of nights of freezing, slightly freezing temperatures, so I bet these are going to be nice and sweet. I'm just going to grab these turnips that might be a bit past it. But we better get them out anyway. I think they're maybe going to be woody. Oh. Oh. 
and um, I think I'll just have this nice beef foot while I'm here. <clears throat> And this one. While I'm collecting some root veg for uh, roasting, I think I'm going to pull out one of these um, parsnips. Which one? Which one? <clears throat> Let's go for this one. A bit rooty, but that's quite nice. Well, my three large hostas are definitely over for the year. A combination of a couple of snap frosts and then more rain than you could ever imagine. And uh, this is what they're like. So I'll just pull the foliage off and I'll give them a mulch and they'll come back bigger and better next year. Well, whoopsie, I forgot to record an ending to this video. I'm sorry, but um, suffice to say, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and I will talk to you again very, very soon. Bye bye for now. Bye.